Good morning. We're here with Mar Medical to discuss the True Life carbon fiber AFOs that are available through Mar Medical. We will start off with the original Matrix. The Matrix is not a new product. It has been used around the world for about the last nine years now. It has a height adjustable, heat moldable anterior shell that is lined and comes with an extra lining. It has D-rings for patients that are hemi involved to make donning and doffing quite easy. It's got a carbon fiber strut that again is wrapped in shrink tubing to prevent it from tearing apart shoes. It is ordered by foot length measurement and this is the original True Life Matrix. We then came out with the Matrix Max. Matrix Max has all the same features and benefits. The height adjustable heat moldable shell again, the removable liner with an extra liner, and the shrink tubing covered strut. As you can see the difference between the Max and the Matrix is the strut. The strut is much beefier on the new Max. We actually have a saying, when in doubt, Max it out. You can't go wrong with choosing the Max. Again, these designed AFOs have an open calcaneus. You know it's different from traditional AFOs that more come up the posterior section of the leg. Um, cl some clinical studies show that those type of AFOs actually uh, prohibit the muscles from functioning properly. And if you allow the calcaneus to go through a little bit of range of motion, it will enhance that patient's gait. We then introduced the Curve. The curve is fairly new. Again, it's just different because it is a very small posterior shell that is height adjustable and heat moldable. And it's got a unique design where it sort of clears the calcaneus and clears that ankle. This was designed because there are patients that are hypersensitive that cannot tolerate any pressure on their antibial, uh, the tibia. So for hypersensitivity or somebody that is something wanting something more low profile, curve is ideal. Now what we're going to do is talk about how to select the right product and which one it's chosen for. We'll start off with matrix. Matrix is more PLS in function. PLS stands for posterior leaf spring. For somebody with simple drop foot or a household ambulator or somebody that's maybe just in a long-term care facility and walking up and down the hallways perhaps pushing their own wheelchair, matrix would be sufficient. Okay. Because again, it's a very dynamic AFO, great for simple drop foot. Once again, the shell is easily adjusted and locked down, loosening the set screws, and all three actually come with the right size Allen wrench. And what you want to do is just move it up and down to make sure we clear the tibial tubercle adjust it to the height that's necessary, lock it down. Okay. Footwear is very important also. Patient never has contact with the foot plate on any of these AFOs. You need a good inner sole or a good orthotic that sits on top of the carbon fiber foot plate. We still get several phone calls a week saying that the patient's having issues with the foot plate and we find that the big key problem is patient is standing directly on this foot plate, that is a big no. Again, an orthotic or the inner sole of a New Balance, uh, um, an Acor, an Orthofeet, any of the shoes. Any of the shoes that are also available through Mar Medical, perfect to accommodate the carbon fiber AFOs. Remember, these are not the finished product. These are the blank shell that must be customized to fit each individual patient's needs. We've given you a good starting point, but it's not an off-the-shelf product. It truly is custom fitted. So again, traditional matrix, PLS and function, simple drop foot. The same type of function can be achieved with the new curve. Uh, once again, it is also PLS in function to manage simple drop foot. But for those patients that are hypersensitive and can't tolerate any pressure along that anterior tibialis, okay, they would do ideal in the curve. This strut can be shortened to any desired length by cutting it down also and just drilling another hole through and putting the shell where you needed it. You can tell that this does not have two straps, it just has one anterior strap key part here in fitting again is making sure you get good clearance at the malleolus. 
we're finding right now with the curve that you traditionally maybe have to go up a little bit in sizing and grind down the toe plate to get the positioning of the curve strut where you need it to on that individual patient. So these are your two PLS type. Again, posterior leaf spring, simple drop foot, open calcaneal design to enhance that muscle function. I guess we have some patients that are that simple to fit with these simple ones, but we find most are a little bit more challenging to fit, and most candidates would probably go into the max. We have a saying, when in doubt, max it out. You cannot go wrong by putting the patient into a max. We can tell the strut is much beefier than either the curve or the matrix, and the, curve, the max is more AFO in function, which is an ankle foot orthoses. So again, same features and benefit, open calcaneal design, strut wrapped in shrink tubing, but beefier strut, okay. Height adjustable, heat moldable anterior shell, liners, D-rings for patients ease and donning and doffing. Again, interface, same type of inter interface, same fitting protocol as necessary for the Matrix Max. But the key here is majority of our, your patients will probably go into the Max. Anybody that is ambulating with any type of ambulatory aid, a cane, a walker, a quad cane, they belong in max. Anybody bilateral automatically goes into max. So that is how to differentiate which one to choose.